up, girl? You be careful out here, man. You know I got your back. Right here, here you go, right here. Hold on, bro, bro. What's up? What's up? What's oh, up? Shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't run. No, no, that's about to schedule a blessing. Okay, but this is my business, though. Just understand what I'm saying. When I got stuff I gotta do, I gotta do something. So what? Just listen to what I got to say. These niggas in Vallejo don't give a fuck no more, my nigga. Can't hey, get a piece of that? I got y'all, nigga. Good. Just tell us how you treat me, man. We go out, man. Hey, I'm gonna have to thank you for all that. You don't mean to fight, man. You don't mean to fight, man. That's how you take some drinks down, nigga. That's how you do it. Put the shit that's somewhere in there. Yeah, I'm waiting for that package, too. I got the syrup, I got all this shit, man. Let's get a pharmacy shit. Good. Go on down there. The deal. KK told me to bring you this practice, man, and that was it. Go on down there, Snowman Alley. Get my broad and bring it back. Hurry up, man. I got shit to take care of. We're gonna have to kill these niggas, man. I mean, what is this? What's going on? You're fine. You're fine now. Shit, I mean, I guess if Dwight said it was cool, he would love to do it. Back here, cause, um, I got shit to do, I got plans tonight. Alright, alright, alright. That's what it really is. That's what's up, that's what's up, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. Yeah. Right up the top of the box up the street, brother. Damn, you're in a couple of socks. Thank you, thank you. You're in a couple of socks. You don't even want to be motherfucking disrespecting you like that, but you really got a motherfucker getting out of his character right now, though. Shit. I don't want to have to argue with motherfuckers, you feel me? But if you can answer the question when I first ask you, that would make it so much more convenient for the a tranquility to the city of Vallejo, California. But for Vallejo and its 120,000 residents, life is anything but peaceful these days. In May, the city council declared bankruptcy, a rare move for any municipality. It came after years of rapidly rising costs and a crushing downturn in real estate and the local economy. The bankruptcy has brought other problems. Two fire stations have closed and 25% of the police force has left, which has forced the police chief to scramble to keep his city protected. We've reorganized the department so many times in order to try and uh, maintain our police presence on the street that I'm kind of running out of ideas. The city with a population of 110,000 is now the first in the United States to declare bankruptcy. We don't uh, pave the streets as, as often as we should. Uh, we don't trim trees anymore unless they're absolutely necessary. Um, um, certain uh, crimes uh, that don't have to do with violence or the uh, threat to the person are not investigated as um, vigorously as before.